late 1930s, there were 8,000 Jews in Raduz, a small town in the Bukovina region of Romania. They were shopkeepers and tradesmen, shoemakers, barbers, hatmakers, tailors, jewelers, a vital community of several generations. They thought of themselves as Jews first, Romanian second, but Raduz was their home. 6,000 of these people perished during World War II. Some died in concentration camps. Most of them did not survive the hardships of deportation to Transnistria. At the end of the war, a few came back. They found their homes gone and the way of life they had known swept away. In 1974, when I first went to Raduz on a Fulbright Fellowship, there were only 240 Jews among the entire population of 22,000. Most of them were old people. Many of those who were younger were preparing to emigrate to Israel. They welcomed me together with my wife as a witness to their tragic history and told us stories of their lives and their struggles to begin again. In late 1974, I was awarded a Fulbright grant to do photography in Romania. I had wanted to spend some time in an Eastern European country with a strong folk culture. I had chosen Romania because I had some background in Romance languages, and I thought it would be easy to learn Romanian, a Latin-based language, thus facilitating my entry into the folk culture. Also. There were the childhood memories of stories told by an aunt from Bucharest, which inspired me to want to know more about the country and way of life she had left. At the suggestion of a friend at the Folklore Institute of Bucharest, I visited Raduz. My friend told me that Raduz had an interesting weekly peasant market and that the adjoining region was filled with ancient monasteries with beautifully painted frescoes. Raduz is in the Bukovina region of Romania, and for over 150 years, this area was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. In fact, many of the older residents still speak German. I had been misinformed, however, as to which day the market was, and I arrived a day too late to see it. It was a Saturday morning, and wandering about, I soon found myself in front of a large synagogue and went inside. There were nine men present, and they needed a tenth man to make a minion, the minimum number of Jewish males needed to hold a Jewish religious service. After asking if I were Jewish, they asked me to stay and pray with them. The service was conducted by Rabbi Joseph Tiernauer. For some reason, I was moved by his presence. Das gab es auf das Mörsch, das musste jeder gekannt werden. Ein Rabbi gut und beteuert, das macht es zu gut. Rabbi Tiernauer, I learned later, had come from a family of rabbis and had studied with great rabbis in Romania and Czechoslovakia. During World War II, most of his family 
were killed by the Nazis, and he himself suffered much. In spite of all that, he remained good-natured and always had a warm smile. In addition to being the town's rabbi, he also acted as its shohit, ritual butcher, and moyel, someone who performs circumcisions, officiating at grits, ritual circumcisions, and weddings, of which there was one of each during the time I was in Radouz. Eventually, I was to get to know quite well all of the men who were present at this first early morning service. There was Israel Baer, Mr. Klugsman, Joseph Tiernauer, Moses Lehrer, Mr. Ginzer, Herman Gelber, Mr. Stein and his father, and Mr. Samstag, the synagogue's gobber. Later, I saw the market which had brought me to Radus. It was located on the town's main plaza, just opposite from the big temple where I had attended services. Peasants from many surrounding small villages came to the market to sell handicrafts and farm products. The peasants of the Bukovina are very skilled at making hand-woven and embroidered shirts. I especially liked their fresh cheese, eggs, and smintina, a sour cream used on their Mama Liga, a cornbread. Chickens were sold and they would sometimes end up on a Jewish family's Sabbath table. Rabbi Turnauer acted as a shoichet, ritual butcher, once a week in Radauts and performed the same service for the nearby Jewish communities of Siret, Vatra Dorna, Gora Humorului, and Kimpolong Moldovanesk. charged three Romanian lei, or about 36 cents for each chicken. Schlaf und träume süß, sunny boys. Deine Augen schließ, sunny boy. Lege deine Hände still in meine Hände. Schlaf und träume süß, Sonny Boy. Schlaf und träume süß, Sonny Boy. Deine Augen schließ, Sonny Boy. Lege deine Hände still in meine Hände. Schlaf und träume süß, Sonny Boy.